So recently I crashed my Phantom 4 drone and I was really disappointed. It definitely damaged my frame, it damaged my motors, possibly my gimbal. So I'm gonna have to send this in to get repaired. And I thought I'd make a quick video showing the process of what you need to do if you crash your drone. And it's, it's actually pretty simple. You basically just request a repair and then you ship your drone into DJI repair service. And um, you can have your drone back within a week sometimes, possibly a little bit longer. And that's what I'm gonna find out. It's got some damage on the arm right here. It definitely is bent there. It's bent everywhere. This one of these motors is has a dent. It's got a big dent right there in the motor. And there's a little bit of friction when I move this gimbal. I can hear a little bit of noise. So this gimbal might be damaged as well. I hope not. So I'm going to show you what you need to do to send in your drone if you crash um, and you need to get it repaired. Okay, so the fastest way that I like to do is just type in DJI Repair. And it's going to take you to, um, as you can see here, DJI Repair Service Center. You're going to want to click that. And then we're going to see a few options. You can do a Repair Progress Inquiry. That's if you al already sent it in. What we're going to click on is Online Repair Request. So let's click that and it's going to want you to sign in so I'm already got my stuff so I'm going to sign into DJI you're going to have to make an account if you don't have one already and then the next is you're going to select your country uh, or or a region I'm in North America I'm in the United States so I'm going to click next and we're going to select our model so I have the Phantom 4 so as you can see pretty much any of the DJI models you can select. I'm going to select the Phantom and then it's going to give me the different Phantom. I've got the Phantom Pro 4 regular so I just hit Phantom 4 and then it's going to ask you what your problem is so I'm going to hit uh, appearance defect I think that now let's go back Col I, so I, I had a crash it was a collision so collision slash fell into water I had a collision, so I'm just going to hit collision because I don't really know what's wrong exactly. And it was an operator error. It was my mistake. I crashed it, so operator error. And, um, okay, select the items you plan to ship. So I'm just going to ship the, the aircraft body and the remote controller. And that's going to be it. Let's see, anything else? Yeah, I'm gonna, and I'm going to be sending the bat, the, the case or the backpack. <coughs> that should be it. That's all I'm, all I'm going to be sending. Let's hit next. And remember, you do not want to send batteries. Um, you're not allowed to do that. All right, so f so you're just going to ask for your product body SN. So apparently the SN number, and it looks like it's in here. So let's check on our phantom okay so it asked me for my SN number and that happens to be these numbers right here so it's this little square symbol and it's the numbers right next to it so you're gonna want to find that on your drone and enter it okay guys so I have actually got my SN number in my notes I'm gonna copy my notes and I'm going to put them into right there and then it's going to ask you to, to, to describe your problem. So I'm just going to write, so I'm going to write something. I'll be right back really shortly. So I wrote this, just something simple. I had a collision and it was my fault. The drone seems to be damaged, but I don't know exactly what's wrong with it. Some body damage and also motor and gimbal slash camera damage is possible. So that's what I wrote. And it also has the option to upload proof of purchase. And it says uploading your proof of purchase will ensure the quickest turnaround time possible. So I would recommend doing this if it can help speed up the, the repair process. So what I'm gonna do, I think the simplest way would be to attach your receipt when you bought the drone, but I don't really have my receipt. So I'm just going to log into my account. I'm gonna go to DJI. Dot com. I'm going to go to my account and then I'm going to go to my orders right here is where I ordered my Phantom 4 and I'm going to take a screenshot of my receipt right here so this is all the information the order number everything 
I'm gonna take a receipt. I mean, take a screenshot of that receipt of that order information within my account. And now I can simply click on um, select the attachment. And I'm just gonna go to get the screenshot. All right here it is. And now I've got my screenshot submitted, and then they can see. See right there, right there's the screenshot. That way they'll be able to see my proof of purchase. And I'm gonna go to next. Let's hit save first. And one thing I forgot to mention is up here it says I have purchased DDI Care. Now I have not purchased, so obviously you can say if you select that, that means you uh, have purchased DJI Care, but I haven't, so I'm gonna leave that unselected. And I'm gonna hit next. And now it's going to bring up my contact information. Now that I got my contact information submitted, I'm going to hit next. And it says review all your information so you can make sure everything is correct. So it says it might charge a damage assessment fee of $65 per hour if you refuse to repair after being quoted. Okay, so they will only charge the assessment fee if you decide not to repair after they've already assessed it and they're ready to give you a quote and you decide you don't want to get it repaired they're going to charge you because of the time it took to assess but I am planning on getting it fixed so I probably don't have to worry about that um, I have read and understood the online repair request terms I'm not going to read it because nobody does that <laughs> confirm and submit okay so it looks like it gave me a case number so this is cool you're gonna get a free shipping label alright that's gonna be sent to my email so first I'm gonna hit print let's hit the print button right here and we will hit print alright looks like that is printed so here is our case number and we're well, I'll be shipping this with the drone I'll be putting this in the box to ship with the drone so they have all the information so I've printed out the case number information Now I'm going to go to my email and it looks like I just got an email and it says retrieve your shipment label I'm gonna click that and it looks like right here it is great let's hit print let's see what happens when we print this out alright well here is our shipping label so this is what we will be putting on the box I'll be putting this label on the box for shipment. All right guys, so we've got our drone in the case. I'm only sending my drone and the controller, nothing else. So let's put this inside the box. But I don't wanna forget that I will be putting this inside of the box with the drone. So here we go. Put this inside. All right, so now we've got our box packaged. It's secure, it's solid because I have my Phantom inside of the case. And now we're gonna cut out our uh, shipping label. So let's cut out the shipping label. This. I'm going to tape this onto the top of the box like that. So tomorrow I'll be dropping this off at our local post office and then I'm gonna wait until I hear from DJI they're going to do an assessment of the drone as soon as they receive it, hopefully, and then they'll give me an estimate of what it's going to cost to actually fix that. So I'll be back um, pretty soon with the update of what I hear from DJI. Hey guys, so it's been a few days since I sent out my package, and I just got an email um, that says, Dear customer, the item you sent to DJI for repair has been received, and your case number is right here. I'm going to copy this case number and then I can check the status. So let's hit repair, process inquiry, select case number, enter the case number. I'm just gonna paste the code that I just copied and then put this little enter verification code and now we're inside the case inquiry, Pro no, repair process inquiry. So here's a little timeline of the repair process. Looks like we're right here conducting damage assessment. So it looks like in about one to three business days is when they're going to give me the quote right here and they're gonna let me know how much it's gonna cost to repair the drone. So I'll see you then, bye. Hey guys, so it's been about one day since I got the last email that said that they had received the item and were starting the repair process inquiry. But now it's been one day and I just got an email 
that says that they have completed the repair analysis and um, they gave me a quote here and right here you can see um, the price it's gonna cost and for me this is uh, this is a lot of money to repair my drone you know four hundred and thirty one dollars I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pay the four hundred and thirty one dollars because if you don't pay it it said that they're going to actually charge a fee for an analyzing the drone and they're gonna send it back but if you do pay you don't have to pay the analyzing fee um, so anyway it looks like I damaged a whole bunch of stuff I mean I damaged the motors the gimbal cameras almost everything just smashed and and I would almost I wish I could just buy a new drone but this is still gonna be quite a bit cheaper than buying a new drone alright so I'll be right back um, in a few days probably or a week from now um, when they have fixed my drone and sent it back and then I'll give you um, the update when that happens. Alright we just got the package back from DJI and I'm gonna open it and see if everything's good and if they did a good job of repairing the drone so let's open the box here's the backpack the case and um, wow this looks like a brand new drone I think they completely replaced everything I think they put a new a new gimbal on it too. They basically had to replace everything because when you crash a drone, you, you don't you don't really know what's damaged. It, everything could be damaged. I think one of the motors was damaged. Um, they basically gave me a new drone, but it only, it cost about 500 bucks, and that was still pretty expensive. But it's better than buying a new drone, I guess. So anyway, they did a great job, and so I'm happy with them.